Oh, 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 hi, okay, very much. What does she want? Faya Kitty. <laughs> hi, guys, this is Faya Kitty, also known as Ben. And welcome back to my let's play of Sera Moon. This time, we are we are playing with actually my favorite Skite ever Scout, not Skite. Kino Makto, which means faithfulness of wood. However, um, no, she's not gonna start hitting you with a wooden mallet or something crazy. Actually, her power is based on Jupiter, it's lightning. And it's good like that, believe me. <laughs> Anyways, so, what stage are we gonna play with her, or stages rather? I'm gonna tell you in a second as soon as it shows up, and she doesn't have her own pet, fortunately, but that's fine. Alright, Millionaire d'Argent, or the, well, the, the Moon Kingdom, the Silver Kingdom. There we go. Uh, that was an item. Uh, star locket which gives you a life uh, as you've seen maybe there on top it's four ironically everything is four with her uh, four lives LP video number four her planet sign is four I'm like I didn't do this on purpose I swear to god I didn't <laughs> anyway so her specialty um and also we have these obnoxious monster again there's gonna be a lot of those stretchy arms monsters which are a pain to deal with and also a lot of those ex freaking bitch monsters sorry for swearing but they, they really are a bitch because it's like ah uh, this this is one of the levels where you get hit a lot also that was the seller communicator and this is the monster you would have to shoot this blue guy except it's really hard to pull off when you're alone in this stage because if you if you've seen there's like tons of freaking monsters attacking you at once and until you charge your shot it's just they already hit you and if they hit you they interrupt your shot and it's like you know what it's not worth it it would be really great like if you have two players or if you're really quick for some reason or somehow do it because this stage is really full of monsters especially those really damaging ones that are gonna kick your ass so the the fan would really be good or which is also why I said I I, sh I would have or I could have played this stage with Sailor Venus because of her whip but for the boss in the last stage it was really better to do it that way so the specialty of Sailor Jupiter, um, the thing is, there's no official statement about this anywhere. This is just, I'm just saying this by, uh, from my own opinion and by, from my experiences. So, maybe you could tell, but she kind of moves slower than everybody else. Like, you know, when you hit, uh, somebody, it's like she takes forever <laughs> compared to the others. But I feel that she takes away a little bit more HP from the monsters than the others, which kind of makes up for it. However, I could be wrong, but this is how I feel, especially when she, um, like, takes somebody into her hands and then, yeah, spins them around like what I just did. I feel like it just does more damage, but again, I could be wrong. I don't know. However, she's, otherwise, she's kind of slower. But she is, at least from, uh, from how tall she is, she's, she's the tallest, so, hey. And she does this cool kick, which helps a lot, so... She's pretty cool, I, I play with her a lot. I also love that, uh, what I just did, this whole elbow to the face. It's really useful, except for those, uh, ironically, for those axe monsters and those st arm stretch monsters. They're, uh, they can just randomly hit upwards, like with an uppercut, and you're, yeah, you're screwed. Like, those two, exactly. Those are the most obnoxious monsters, I swear to god. <laughs> Kill them fast, if you can, even from a distance. Cause, Jesus, man. <sighs> Alright. Millionaire d'Argent. Um, this was in the series too, like, it, it was actually a big deal, it was even on the freaking screen in, in the beginning. And suddenly, we are at, like, the freaking North Pole. Like, yeah. If you, if you know the series, you're gonna understand how this happens, but... It, if you just play the game, it kind of probably seems random. Also, this is a pretty varied, like, another variation of stages. I'm kind of glad they're keeping it a, keeping it a little bit um, different. Because, as you see, the, the floor is moving. So, in the last stage, we had a, a, an elevator in the middle. And just one whole uh, stage without any different acts. And here we have the floor moving. 
it's kind of it's kind of nice, you know. Like you can't say that this game is not trying to bring in some variation because well, yeah, it is just a beat em up, a beat em up like in quotation marks, just beat em up. However, as you see, tons of these X monsters and they're oh, they're just a pain, man. <laughs> They, I, they're overly aggressive, I don't know, I, I can't say it any different. And you could lose so much health here, this, uh, it's incredible, but, so just make your way forward. Also, this is the stage where, like, where it happens the most that monsters get stuck, like, you throw them off the screen, and for the longest time nothing happens, like, you stand there and they're just not gonna show on the screen anymore, even though they still have HP. So. Again, if you if that happens, just act as if you just keep going, even though you can't because the screen won't scroll. But just turn your back towards them, basically, and act as if you're just leaving. For some reason, that works. I don't know, maybe it's just coincidence, but it's just an observation I made. <laughs> it's crazy. This is, in general, a really, like, hard stage with all those monsters and also, you know, the end boss. And it's also probably one of the longest, or even the longest. It's, it's pretty tough, so... I don't know, technically... Yeah, I shouldn't... The only reason why I took Silly Jupiter for this stage, really, is because... Well, it was kind of random, I mean... It's like, hey, I remembered in the series, in the Moon Kingdom, they liked to do ice skating. And so Jupiter was the best at it, even better than the freaking princess. And I'm like, you know what? Hey, that's enough of a link and a connection. So let's do this. <laughs> Seriously, that's all it was. <laughs> uh, well, and the fact that I already had Sailor Venus in like booked in the other um, stage. Again, as I said, technically you can't even do this. Like, technically when you pick your scout in the beginning, you're gonna play with them from start to end. You can't change in the middle. Uh, you're not gonna see any transformations and nothing, so this LP is it's all good editing. So this is not how it's gonna be in the game. Just so we're clear. It's you you pick, I don't know, Sailor Moon or somebody in the beginning, you're gonna play Sailor Moon until the end, or like either until you beat the game or until you freaking game over. Alright. This was all really just good editing, so yeah, I did play this game five times and I just recorded whatever stage I needed with whoever, and then I, you know, I'm editing this together, like, right now. Also, those profiles in the mid in the beginning, they do kind of exist, like if you're staying on the um, start screen and don't move for a while or don't press anything, it's gonna show you um, the profiles, except they're in French and I'm like, you know what, let's completely redo it from scratch because I don't want people to sit there and not understand what's going on. Also, this is the end boss, it's one of those generals. He's a, he's kind of like the princess from the fir from the second stage. I if he shoots his stuff there, his ice beams or whatever the hell that is, you're screwed. Except this is when like you need to hurry up and beat him, like what I did now. Otherwise, you can't freaking get up anymore. So hurry up. That's all. All right, let's see how bad I did. <laughs> I'll be. Unfortunately, even though I play Jupiter the most. This is usually what I get because she's she's really slower than the others. It's, it's almost kind of disturbing, but that's cool with me. I don't feel like I need to have an A with her. It's all cool. One B is fine. Hope it stays at that. <laughs> Anyways, this was it for this uh, video. I'm looking forward to the next one because it's gonna be the last stage. Ooh. All right. So until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining, and see you next time. Bye.